how to activate the BMW iX drive recorder. So if you want to go to menu, which are in menu here on the left hand side, uh, you click on menu and then there's your drive recorder right there. Um, it's in all apps. It's not in the vehicle apps, it's in all the apps. So you want to go to uh, drive recorder, which is right here, and you don't need a BMW ID to create a drive reco uh, to record anything. And you just click here, they're in 20 second increments, which is interesting. And then you could create stop, you could press stop to stop it, press show recording, and there it is. Uh, if you go to the right, you can delete that recording or delete all of them as well if you'd like, but there are no other recordings in this car. Um, but yeah, so if you go to drive recordings, you could either uh, start recording 20 second before trigger, 20 second after trigger, um, or you could do it manually, start and stop recording. You do also have down here, which is a your settings, so you could do your, you could change your trigger time before trigger and after trigger. You could go up to 25 seconds, I believe. Let's see, oh, up to 30 seconds. You're lucky, um, and it to trigger when you get into an if you get into an accident. Uh, Warn before overriding theft. You could also do a trigger uh, time for that in case your car gets stolen. You could see who's doing it. <laughs> uh, data access via my BMW app. So as you could see, the BMW ID, um, which is something you should create when you get into the car right away, is right up here at the top right corner. And you want to go through here. You could log in through the BMW app. So long as your salesperson or whoever delivered the car to you set up your electronic subscriber agreement, which is connected to the SOS button here. Okay, so this button needs to be set up first for you to create your BMW uh, ID. So let's go back uh, once again. Let's go back again. There we go. Let's press home. <laughs> Starting to record. Gotta delete that one too. Yes, delete. Okay, so now we're going to go home and we'll click menu. And if you want to use interior camera, log in with BMW ID. So you'll see a trend here. Uh, personal hotspot, what else would it ask for BMW ID? Uh, let's go to there's something in here, automated habits. Log in with BMW ID. So you're starting to get the trend here. Um, it's trying to basically hone in on your personality and what you like to do. But first you have to create the ID via this small guy right here in the corner. You see that little guy square? You press that and you get your ID going. So before you do your, all your settings, because the key only controls the side mirrors, the steering wheel, and the seats. Um, and that's about it. Side, side mirrors, steering wheel, seats, and your heads up display, which is right there.